Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have finally sat down to record my skincare routine and I just wanted to preface that by stating that what works for me may not work for everybody else. I think it kind of goes without saying. Um, these are products that I use on a daily basis and they react really nicely with my skin. Uh, however, I do have fairly decent skin. Um, I'm lucky enough not to have acne for the most part. I'll get an occasional breakout on my chin due to hormonal acne or if I have been slacking on cleaning my brushes, I will occasionally get some acne right here and I know that's the first sign that I need to stop and clean my brushes because my face reacts really quickly to that. So to begin, the morning part of my routine is very, very minimal. Um, I literally take a um, makeup cleansing wipe and just run it all over my face to get all like the mascara or whatever that might have like settled on in the corner of my eyes, the flaky kind of stuff that we all get. And I just freshen up with that and then I continue on with my primer and that sort of thing. That's just what works for me. So most of my skincare and my preventative stuff happens in the evening. So the first thing I do is I start with a makeup or an eye makeup remover. The one that I've been currently enjoying is the Elmay Oil Free Gentle um, Eye Makeup Remover. I will say that my eyes are slightly sensitive, where some of these have that have oil in them seem to either leave like a greasy film on them, which irritates me because I'm constantly rubbing my eyes or they just flat out burn my eyes. And I know there's a lot of us that suffer from that or that deal with that. And I will have to say, I do have to say that this Elmay one doesn't seem to do that. However, if I totally soak the cotton pad and then put it on my eyes, it will burn. So I don't use a ton of this, which is nice because it lasts a lot longer and it works great. But that's just my one to about that. So yeah, this is the makeup remover. This is step one. The second step kind of has two parts. On a dry face, short of just like around my eyes, I rub this Purity Made Simple Cleanser into my skin. This cleanser has been life changing for me. I am very oily, I have a very oily T-zone, but my skin dries out extremely quickly. So I know that sounds strange, but with certain cleansers and stuff that contain oils, or I'm sorry, I contain, um, alcohol and that kind of thing, my skin, especially around my nose, will dry out really quickly. This one actually claims to, and I didn't even notice it on the back, but it says that it hydrates as it melts away your makeup. And I believe that. It leaves your skin so silky smooth and totally moisturized that this is a cleanser that if I forget to moisturize afterwards, I'm not like, my skin's not screaming for it. So that's really nice. So I rub this on dry skin, and then with my Clarisonic, I'll get, I don't have the brush head on here, but I'll get the brush head wet and then I'll work the Purity Made Symbol into a lather with this. So after this is done working, um, which we, uh, uh, there's plenty of reviews out on Clarisonics. If you want my opinions on it, I would be happy to do a video, but there are tons of reviews from really, really well-known YouTubers that do the full rundown on what they think of that. So like I said, if you're interested in hearing my views, I'd be happy to do a video, but that would just, for me to include all that information in this video, we'd be sitting here for an hour. Um, but like I said, yeah, I run it through all of its like four little um, sessions or whatever you want to call them. And then this gets slightly foamy, not overly foamy, and then I rinse everything off and I pat my face dry. And then I go in with a toner, and the toner that I've been loving, and you guys just saw in my haul, is this Elizabeth Arden one, and I ended up getting the one for normal skin, I usually buy the one for oily skin, but I'm really liking this one a lot better. Um, it has a soft, subtle smell that slightly reminds me of Calvin Klein Eternity perfume, um, but it's not perfumey and where it would like bother me, it's just it smells very fresh and light. So I use this all over, obviously we all know what a toner does, it kind of just evens everything out, but it also helps to remove any like makeup residue or whatever that I have left over from cleansing, and I get that especially around my hairline. So this helps to get rid of that. So that's a uh, toner that I've been loving a lot, 
And then I go in with an um, eye cream and my day, uh, nighttime moisturizer. The eye cream that I've been using is this Robanda or Robanda eye gel with advanced retinol vitamin A. And it's just this blue gel like so. And you need the tiniest little bit. And I just put it on my ring finger and I dab it around underneath my eyes. And then whatever is left on my fingers, I kind of bring up the side just to prevent like the crow's feet and that kind of thing. This one I got from TJ Maxx as well as the toner. And if you're able to get your hands on this brand, I would suggest it. I'm going to look up, look it up online um, when I'm done with this and to see if I can order some more because I really do like it. It's really nice. And it wasn't very expensive. So yeah, after my eye cream is done, or eye gel is done, I go in with a nighttime moisturizer, which I'm usually, I'm currently using this collagen skin cream from the brand Bobo Beauty Care, and it's an anti-aging skin cream. And it's just a normal white cream like so. And I pat this, into my skin and then I rub upwards. You never want to rub downwards. You always like want to push up. And then I do it up my neck and around my chest. And this kind of just like soaks right into your skin. It doesn't leave you feeling greasy or anything, which is a thing that I hate. If I wake up in the morning feeling like a greasy mess, that moisturizer is not for me. This one so far has been really nice. I got this one at Marshalls as well. And if you're interested, this is Global Beauty Care. Um, the collagen skin cream, I suppose you could probably look that up online too. And then the next thing that I do after that is I go in with a spot treatment if I have any spots. And I should say this, if I have any spots when I'm moisturizing, I kind of skip over that area. And then I'll go in with this benzoyl peroxide um, gel. This is 5% from Mary Kay. And I'll put this on a clean finger. And I'll just stab it on the spot and then I'll let it sit overnight and it dries things up quite quickly. I do have one that's a 10% that if I have like a massive, massive breakout, I'll use that instead. But most of the time I just use the 5%. So as far as skin, that's all I do. Super simple. That's like daily. I also put on this Blistex um, medicated lip ointment daily. This is something that I used to do only during the winter and then I, during the summer I would use like EOS or something. But I've quickly learned that EOS is actually drying my lips out. It's not, it's only moisturizing temporarily. It's not like moisturizing long term. So I've been using this at night for the last couple months and I've really enjoyed what it's doing for my lips. It's keeping them super smooth and I never have to worry about wearing like a matte lipstick or something because my lips are in tip top shape all the time. So, yep, just go good old Blistex medicated lip ointment. And that's what I do on a daily basis. About three times a week, I mask. Um, I've been trying out a ton of new masks. You guys have seen some in hauls and favorites and in empties. And so I, you have seen that I've been trying out different masks, but I've narrowed it down to a few that I really like. One <clears throat> cream mask that I'm really enjoying that I've had for about a year now is this Mary Kay Botanical, Botanical Effects Mask. This is for oily slash sensitive skin. It is alcohol fragrance and synthetic dye free, which is really, really nice. And the package itself is biodegradable, which is kind of cool. But this one is definitely a drying mask. Let me put some on my hand here. So it's a super thick cream and it dries completely. So I put it all over my face like this, concentrating it usually on my chin area, and <clears throat> I, you let it dry, you let it sit for, 15, I, it says 10 minutes, I usually leave it on for 15, and let it completely dry and it gets crappy, like it's one of those masks where you feel like you can't move your mouth and that kind of thing. So once it's completely dry, so once it's completely dry, you rinse it off, and in the morning, 90% of my blemishes have completely dried out, but it doesn't dry out the rest of my face, which is really nice. So I use this one mostly around the time that I get from little breakouts or anything like specific. If I have like a giant zit, again, I will dab some of this on there and leave it overnight and that helps too. 
So this is the Mary Kay Botanical Effects. That's really nice. And then the other ones that I've been really enjoying are these paper masks, which I have two different kinds. I just hold these ones and I've reviewed these ones in the past. These are the Apelli ones from Big Lots. They're super cheap. They work really nicely. Oil on this one totally absorbs into your skin and it's just really, really nice. I like that one a lot. And this is the one that I just got from Marshalls and they have five different kinds of masks, but they're all supposed to be moisturizing, firming, and rejuvenating. And I used the rose one and I think it was just, it was nice. It <clears throat> just made me feel refreshed more than anything. I didn't notice, you know, firming or anything, but I would say that it made me feel fresh and rejuvenated. It was really, really nice. So these are the two paper masks that I'm really enjoying right now. But that's, that's about it. That's all about all I use. Um, I try to keep it really simple, very streamlined, nothing crazy. Um, I'm 24 years old, so I am trying to use some preventative things, but I'm not like buying everything that says and states and pretends like it, you know, gets rid of wrinkles. And I'm just trying to be preventative at this point. I hope this helped. And please let me know if there's anything in your skincare routine that you think is a must for me to try. And I definitely will look into it. Um, most of the products that I have are very affordable. Um, obviously, my Clarisonic is a bit of an investment. And, you know, I think there's other op options out there as far as something like this. I know Neutrogena makes one. And there's some other drugstore brands that make them. So if this is something that you're interested in but you don't want to spend that much money right now or you want to make sure that it works before you spend that much money, I would look into the drugstore options. I don't know much about them, so I don't know how they are in comparison, but it's it's an option that's out there. But like I said, most of the stuff is easily, like I said, most of the stuff is really easy to get your hands on and for the most part, pretty affordable. So I just thought I would share what I've been using and what has been working for me. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to make sure that you don't miss out on any new videos and I will talk to with you all very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!